It's 1965, and Americans are just beginning to experience the brainwashing power of the game of football. The craziest thing of all must have been watching a game without grass stains or muddy cleats because the players were playing on living room carpet for the first time ever. Uh, modern turf isn't like carpet at all, but the possibilities for field design and playing surface soon became infinite in the new era of turf fields. In this video, we'll explore all college football stadiums that took their creativity to a whole new level by coloring their entire field in colors other than green. There were not enough Division I FBS stadiums to make a full video, so we will start all the way down in the NAIA and work our way up, including a bonus stadium at the very, very end, so watch the entire video. Have your fingers ready to share which stadium is your favorite in the comments. Let's kick things off. Real experience, real success is the motto of the private Lindenwood University and sure getting a real experience at this stadium all right. Small does not mean shy at this school of 300 students. Earning the title of the nation's most original, hideous football field by Yahoo Sports who called it a flattened barbershop pole. Located at the satellite campus, now called Bellevue Learning Center, Lindenwood Stadium is the product of a $2.3 million renovation to the previous stadium, including adding this zebra field to its fan experience. It's unclear why the school did this, but we're talking about it, and perhaps that's enough for them. Perhaps the craziest setup of this entire video, Carlson Stadium proudly owns the only colored turf football field in D3 college football. Despite dishing out the dough for the blue turf in 2017, the stadium has no press box. Instead, the college cafeteria was built so as to act as the press box on game day. Yep, if Tony Romo was calling the game, he'd be sitting there with you at the gum-covered table. Luther College had to get permission from Boise State who trademarked their signature blue field before installing blue turf at Carlson Stadium. Fits in with the tennis courts nicely. Another get attention set up. The New Haven Chargers host another blue turf field that required permission from the blue turf godfather, with blue and yellow field being the required name in the agreement between the two schools. We're gonna have to have a blue turf alert for every time a small school sees a quick way to get attention. Despite sharing the name with the San diego LA Chargers, the school's mascot is named for a medieval horse and not electrostatic losers. With the exact opposite color pattern as the first stadium we looked at, the stadium with two names proudly stands for Central Arkansas fans. The stadium has had documented renovations at least half a dozen times, including the addition of alternating red and gray turf in 2011. If you look close enough, you'll notice that no, SS Stadium does not have a track surrounding for a security field, perhaps the only stadium sponsored by a local bank. Underneath the press box stands hosts the entire football program, including locker rooms, meeting and film rooms, weight and training rooms, and coaches' offices. Fans call this two-name stadium the Stripes. Opening originally as Woodward Field in 1967 with a smaller capacity of 7,500 fans, Roos Field is named after NFL player and EWU alum Michael Roos, who helped fund the Red Turf Project. Other alumnus, such as Colin Coward, also helped make the Inferno a reality. The stadium has undergone many phases of renovations in the last two decades, with the addition of Red Turf coming in 2010. The stadium also features several suites complete with such luxuries as cable television, stereos, and refrigerators, according to the brochure. The Eagles have won an astounding 68% of their games on red turf. Not a whole lot of stadiums left with a big old track around the field. Located in Michigan, Rynearson is also on several other short lists, including being one of the stadiums that had to increase capacity to conform to D1 rules in 1992. It was added to our short list when the Eagles converted their basic green turf to a gray turf with green end zones. How about that for flipping the script? The gray is supposed to be representative of a factory and how the Eagles are going to outwork their opponents in every game. That's right, named for the chairman of Hooters. 
Brooks Stadium is notable for having turf the color of every turf field before 2000. It was yet another stadium that had to up its capacity when joining the FBS in 2015. It's changed a lot over the years, but even before the Teal Field, Conway High School used to call the land that Brooks Stadium sits on for its home stadium, even though it faced the opposite direction. Legend has it that the old high school stadium sat abandoned for an entire year before Coastal Carolina broke ground on their stadium, allowing the field to be taken over by weeds and wild watermelon. I am disappointed that there is no homage to the watermelon in the stadium if this is true. The godfather of them all, formerly known as Bronco Stadium until a local chain of grocery stores purchased naming rights in 2014, Boise State has had its signature blue turf dating all the way back to 1986 when the Broncos were and was today known as Division II. Becoming the first D1 FBS program with non-green turf when joining in 1996. The Broncos blue turf color was the original, changing the turf color simply for notoriety's sake. In 2011, Broncos Mountain West Conference banned Boise from wearing blue uniforms for their home games. And in the same year, the NFL created the Boise Rule, banning all NFL teams from having a non-green playing surface. The uniform ban, however, was short-lived in order to keep the Broncos from leaving the conference in 2013. I'd like to see just one NFL game on this field. Just for kicks and giggles. Do it for the people of Idaho, Roger. Japan is one of the few countries that play American football. The Boise State Bluefield Mania made it all the way across the Pacific where Boise has its first and currently only international trademark agreement to let the Jose University Tomahawks have blue turf on their field. The Tomahawks play in the Collegiate Association where winners of each division play for the Koshien Bowl. Unlike in the U.S., the winners of the Koshien Bowl go on to play the champion of the Professional League in the Rice Bowl. What a time to be alive in Japan. Just once would I like to see an NFL game played on a colored field. I don't know why, I just think it'd be cool. Given recent trends, perhaps we will see more colored fields in the future and this video will become outdated or just a record of the first eight colleges to have colored turf. Don't forget to share which stadium was your favorite. Also let me know in the comments what your favorite color is for turf. What colors would you like to see? How about a chessboard pattern or an LED backlit field? Dude, I can't wait to see what happens in the future with technology. Anything can happen. Remember to like the video and thank you for watching. Subscribe to Labrice TV for more stadiums content.